Hey, what's up, Internet? It is the end of the fourth day here in Arch Nemesis League. And uh, this will probably be the last League Start update for Freezing Pulse Totems. It won't be my last League Start video, but probably the end of the road for Freezing Pulse Totems. Uh, today we went and we killed the Searing Exarch and the Eater of Worlds. Uh, I'll, I'll avoid spoilers for you on these two fights because I know it's, it's still a little bit early and some people may not have done them. But... Uh, they were okay. I honestly was a little bit disappointed in both of them. Um, especially because the first time you fight them, they have like no health. Uh, both of them got blown up pretty hard, even in my, you know, day four gear. And uh, I didn't get to see much. And then what I did get to see, I wasn't very impressed with. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I don't have a lot of ambition on farming either one of them. I'd rather farm the influence. I think the influence on maps for them is pretty fun, but I don't really like any of the new bosses so far. They're, um, they feel a little bit overly gimmicky to me, and uh, I wish we would get back to more straightforward boss fights like Shaper and Uber Elder, where the idea is they attack you with things and you just dodge them, <laughs> and that's how a fight works. I don't know. I kind of appreciate fights like that, especially as we get into fights more like this uh, this patch, but, uh, as far as updates, before I went and fought them, I was able to put Whispers of Doom on my Pandemonius, um, I also bought a Zealotry Watcher's Eye, like, with cast speed, this was, like, 20C or something, so it felt like a pretty good deal, even if I wasn't gonna play this character too much longer, um, I don't think I've changed anything else at that point from yesterday, I didn't really need to. Uh, the Atlas is 113 out of 117, so I've only got a few more unique maps. Um, it's weird. Despite the fact that I will be switching over to Siege Ballista, and if we take a peek here, I've got pretty much everything together. You know, I've got my... I'm going to level this as a new character. I'm not just going to respec this character. Uh, I've got, like, a leveling set, then switching over to, like, Explosive Arrow early, and then my Siege Ballista stuff with the Six Link. Iron Commander, I think I spent about 5 to 6x on literally everything there. And I should land about where my standard POB is for Siege Ballista in that amount of money. It didn't feel too bad for buying that stuff on day 4. Um, but despite the fact that I am going to switch instead of continuing to invest a ton more into this character, I'm not as disappointed as I, I guess I... Maybe I even was yesterday because as I was thinking about it, you know, this character on a pretty meager investment, right? Um, all told with the Six Link, the Verides, the Pandemonius with Whispers and the Watcher's Eye, I still, I don't think I broke five exalts on this character. Like everything was so cheap because of the nerfs and everybody's hesitance about Spell Totem that it was really easy for me to get these upgrades in the first few days. And I mean... I went all the way through the Atlas. I killed the two new bosses. I've got two Void Stones. You know, I've killed uh, a bunch of Guardians. You know, I think I've got a full Cirrus set, in fact. Yeah, I've got one Cirrus set, half of Shaper, most of Elder. I really haven't had too many issues. I've had like 12 deaths or something. Yeah, I don't know. All told, it's like. Is it something that I would necessarily want to invest tons and tons into? I don't think so. Anymore. But this no longer... This would be much more expensive than, say, Ritual. Like, this would have been a much higher investment back then. So, to be able to do this still feels pretty good at League Start. So, it might stay on my radar as a League Start build. But, um... Not one that I would necessarily recommend for investing in a lot more to do, like, you know pinnacle stuff like maven and feared and up let's do a quick uh, burial chambers map so one of the thing i want to talk about is the skill tree uh since i have most of my skill points now i've decided to kind of start testing out this fortune favors the brave strat and i have my tree set up mostly like i was describing i have um points into abyss here and here mostly for like abyss monsters i have harbinger fully specced out for the extra harbinger, the chance for the boss harbies, and the this unspeakable offensive, a very good node by the way. 
both for the currency shards but also just for the fact that it makes them summon much more quickly and they die faster for that uh, which is nice uh, it, do it does make them riskier they actually do a fair amount of burst damage with their spells whenever they're a boss so be mindful of that uh, we do have the strong boxes I really like the operative strong box by the way uh, basic alchemy on these and go because you can hit like up to four extra scarabs sometimes you'll get four extra polished scarabs you can get stacks of fragments out of these they're really good highly recommend this node and I've also come over here into beyond I need one more skill point to get uh, torn veil I might I think really quick I'm actually gonna go ahead we're gonna buy one more of these and we're actually gonna take it out of vault uh, yeah the flesh merchant basically we'll pick up the flesh merchant again next skill point I guess he's okay but uh, I like the beyond more but the idea is we're specced into a bunch of stuff that is on the map device right from fortune favors the brave and we're gonna try and just value it right we're gonna use really basic maps we'll probably use one of these two influences because they're better for mapping compared to maven um, map maven is pretty good for bossing because you'll you know get to maven faster but these actually juice the maps themselves in the clear so I like both of these for adding monsters and bonus loot mods uh, I'm actually out of Alva missions but I would always add Alva here it synergizes really well with beyond um, and then I usually have some cheap you know elder scarabs cardo scarabs harvey scarabs if I had uh, the device here expanded I'd probably add ambush to that and so we just click fortune favors the brave and we'll get you know one of these seven down here abyss dom bloodlines etc um, for 3c it's random and we're invested into most of these, right? We're invested into Abyss, into Domination, into Ambush, into Harbinger, into Beyond. So it's pretty hard to whiff. Um, so let's do a quick walk and talk and see what it looks like. And you can kind of see how Freezing Pulse is doing. This, I wouldn't, this is not like a juice, juice map at all. Um, I actually don't remember. I probably didn't, yeah, I didn't have any sextants up. But this is what sort of juiced up Alk and go strat I guess you would call this strategy um, at this gear level we're still doing fine you know I'm pretty happy with how this character turned out overall I'm not as happy with the new bosses I uh, I hope to see some changes I don't think it'll be immediately but I feel like they fall pretty flat and you know during the live stream they mentioned that those were supposed to be up right above maven or like right below her but the first time you fight these i mean i literally killed each one of them in like 30 seconds they got to do one meaningful attack and then they were dead uh, so yeah i don't i don't know what the, what's going on there I, I really feel like this is not going to be the bossing league that a lot of people thought it was going to be. I think the longer term play here is using your Atlas skill tree and just really going nuts on the, the farm side of things and maps. I guess one other thing worth mentioning while we're in a map is um, I've been using the setup that Grimro mentioned. Some people mentioned it in my chat, which is setting up a uh, like mirror image plus treant horde and then using like assassin and something else usually rejuvenation to get like a really nice combo sequence on these because with mirror image you get uh, scarabs but it also rerolls the rewards twice so you get better rewards on average and then you add treant horde which the monster's minions drop a randomly chosen reward type. Well, that's going to roll again because of mirror image, right? But all of them are going to drop something. And it typically spits out either a bunch of currency or like a bunch of scarabs. Treant Horde, I think, is kind of broken. I don't know if they really meant for it to drop so much loot with those two. 
Um, but I don't have the other two pieces, I don't think, right now to show you the full stack, but I'm sure there's... You can go look at Grimrose video for that if you want to see some examples of loot. But it's quite valuable. It takes a little while to get everything together because you have to use a bunch of like tier 1 pieces to make tier 2 pieces. Um, but it is fun when you actually get to do it in a map. So that's basically how I've been interacting with it. I've just been picking up pieces until I can make that that kind of recipe and then doing that in a map and then getting to forget about it for a while until I have the pieces for it together again. Which is good. I really think that that kind of out of the way league mechanic has been a, a blessing in this league. It's unfortunate that we haven't seen any altars. These influence maps... I thought I put influence on here. Maybe the elder influence overrode it actually. Maybe we just learned something. Because I did, as I recall, put Searing Exarch influence on here. But I bet my Elder Scarab snuffed it out. That's okay, we can visit that in one of the future videos. As for this character, I think this will probably be the last of this character's arc here in Arch Nemesis. I may use this character again for farming heist. Um, that's why I'm going to start a new character instead of um, respecting this one, is so that I have this character with this gear set if I want to farm more heist later. I think having Spell Totem is just better for heist whenever you have to open up a large door on the escape. It's easier to just toss totems through one of those doorways, um, especially with the totem taunt now. With Ballista, you can open the door, but you have to put all your Ballistas behind the door. And so some of them, like Brute Force, where they smash through and they only create like a person-sized hole in the door, that's kind of awkward for Siege Ballista, right? Because you basically have to go through the other side. Um, so this character is going to hang out on my account, and I'll probably poke back in every once in a while to do some heisting. I can't think of anything else to say. I'm sad on the one hand that Freezing Pulse feels like it's it's headed to the retirement home eventually, but it still feels surprisingly punchy. Like I definitely didn't have too many struggles getting through my atlas and you know leveling with the you know having a leveled ice spear made doing things like the Searing Exarch. Okay, if those bosses have a lot more health the next time around, I could see it being kind of annoying because I don't think you're going to hit like amazing single target without a lot of investment even on Ice Spear so when they're when the fights are longer like that I, then the Sniper's Mark Ice Spear thing where it's just that big circle of Ice Spear flashbang thing that's really obnoxious and I think I would probably get tired of bossing on this character pretty fast if they didn't die very quickly so I don't know. I will probably skip a day in the League Start Progress series because I don't know if I will have this character like to maps in time for the next day's video. We'll have to see because um, it feels like it would be weird to like come back and do a white map on day five of League Start. But uh, I don't think it'll take me more than a day or so to get this character up into a decent level with maps thanks to the fact that I was able to buy everything in advance and everything I you know everything else I can just lift off this character like our our medium cluster and our reign of splinters and things like that so uh, if you'd like to come see how that goes i will be continuing to stream over at twitch tv slash wallet tv um, feel free to jump into the discord if you got any questions if you don't see me online or hit me up in the forum thread and i will see you guys tomorrow peace <laughs>